tuning in today. I appreciate you having me on, Brock. Well, we have this great new movie that is uh, coming out tonight. Uh, it's first airing tonight at Nat Geo at 8 o'clock. We're very excited about it. Uh, Killing Reagan. And uh, this is a movie that my brother, Rod Lurie, directed. And, of course, you wrote, Bill O'Reilly. We're so excited about it. It's a fantastic story. And, uh, first of all, congratulations on this. I wonder thank you. And your brother did a fine job with the film. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he's, uh, I'm very proud of him. Uh, and the way, I think the drama that comes out, the strength of Reagan's presidency really comes out on this. And, and when we met, Bill O'Reilly, um, during the premiere, I asked you, about what was it that once wanted, uh, made you want to make all these killing uh, series, the killing Jesus, the killing Lincoln, the killing Kennedy, and now killing Reagan, of course. Uh, what, what was it? And you said such an interesting comment. I'd like to, if you could, just tell your own thoughts about that. Well, I want to um, educate people, and, and that's a bad word, I guess. It's a, it's a little... Uh, supercilious, but I'm a former high school teacher, and I had fun teaching history to the urchins, um, and I found that the way to make them pay attention was to personalize everything. So what we've done is uh, we've, we've branded a bunch of history books with the killing word, because that's a provocative word, it gets people's attention, and then we, we meld the entertainment aspect of uh, life, which means that you um, keep things moving along, and there's a lot of action, there's a lot of personal stuff historical fact. And everything in all the killing books is true. But we write them in the style of a novel, like James Patterson might write the book, right. so that you can't put it down. And that's why these books are so successful, because they're fun to read and you learn a lot. Well, they absolutely are. And the Killing Reagan uh, book was just so, and, and also the Killing Reagan movie. I have to tell you, having seen the movie myself, and, and without giving anything away in terms of the, the artistic part of it, I just love the way you really got into the John Hinckley character, but even more particularly, Bill O'Reilly, I want to thank you so much for the exact, the, the, the precision with which you had that scene of the assassination attempt. That was, it was remarkable. Yeah, we take uh, our research from direct uh, archives, and, and we were able to assemble that uh, Hinckley shooting second by second in Washington, and it is, and it is a, a stunning moment um, for the American public to now see in a movie exactly what happened, not, you know, dramatized or anything, I and mean, we didn't do any of that. Uh, we just said, okay, this is it. This is how this uh, ne'er-do-well kid, um, who is uh, definitely emotionally disturbed, could get close to the most powerful man in the world and almost kill him. It's shocking. It's just shocking. And so the movie and the book were built around that and then the repercussions of it. 